Dario G, Sunshine, released in 1997 as their debut single. Dan, do you know who Dario G are referencing in their name? No. Dario Grady. Bullshit. Seriously. <laughs> That's not <laughs> aged well, has it? <laughs> <laughs> Named after Dario Grady, who managed Crew Alexandria for a staggering 24 years and then ended up in a little bit of hot water. <laughs> That's a very diplomatic way of saying he got called a nonce. <laughs> have you ever been to Africa, Dan? Well, I honestly thought you were going to say, have you ever been to Crew? <laughs> A uh, couple of times, and I'd rather have done gigs in Africa. Well, through the power of the sunshine of the sunshine music video, let's head to Africa now. Is this a? There, hang on. I'm not going mental. Is this something to do with the World Cup? Is it? No, that's the, that was the next one. The next one was Carnival de Paris was the one that was to do with the World Cup. Right. Fucking hell. Dario G loved getting involved with football in good ways and bad ways. <laughs> Hey, how wank was that video? That video must have been a right laugh to get ready for. Well, are you filming for? We're filming somewhere really hot. And what kind of makeup do you have to wear? Full body. Have a nice sweaty day. Oh my God. How fast was dance music in the late 90s? <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine peaked at number two in the UK charts in September 97, only being kept off the top spot by Elton John's tribute to Princess Diana, Candle in the Wind. What's better though is the rest of that top five. Sitting at number three with Chumbawamba tub thumping. Number four was The Verve. Drugs don't work. And we're below at number five, Will Smith with Men in Black. Praise the 90s. Oh, that is a absolute selection box of fucking 90s. That is spicy. And in, in the Verve there, that uh, the Verve, Drugs Don't Work, was their first number one track. Bit of Sweet Symphony didn't hit number one. My question to you, Danny, is do drugs work? <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> What are you trying to do? I thought these were the ones that we were trying to go viral with. I'm like, yeah, they really do. A bit too well. I've lost my wife and kids and my Ford Escort. I tell you where drugs got me. Fucked. <laughs> well, do drugs work, Dan? Well, depends where you stick them. Show me the sample. The Dream Academy, Life in a Northern Town, released in 1984. Let's go. Pushing the town away. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's because I'm a kid of the 90s. It's because you just listed all those tunes from 97. The Verve, Elton John, Will Smith. That's my era. And that, the Dream Factory, wasn't my era. So when you go life in a northern town and you show basically the Hovey's advert street, like, meh, 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 and it's all miserable and northern, and then you throw in the... My head goes, what the fuck is Dario G doing in Huddersfield? <laughs> For longer episodes featuring artists like Avicii, Jerry Cinnamon and songs like Cigarettes and Alcohol, search Show Me The Sample on YouTube. He's been Dan Nightingale. He's been Felix Leiter. See ya. See ya.